Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. This is a channel for Virgos only, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So if you're new, please do smash that like and subscribe button. Um, welcome back everyone and all of everyone in the chat and the mods. Um, so please keep in mind that some of these messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest. And links to personal readings or extended readings is in the description box below this video. All right, Virgo, let's get into your reading. I am recording this. Today is October 19th, 2022. So we're going to take a look at the time period beginning today through November 19th. Okay, and I'm going to do the Celtic cross spread today. I want to see what the energies are. Pick up some different energies for you. Okay, let's get started. What does Virgo need to know in regards to love during the month of October and November? Okay, coffee cup, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship. Okay, very nice. So you might have a meeting someone. It could be a date over coffee, spending time with friends, um, chit-chatting, enjoying the moments, okay? Um, being present, mindful to the moment. All right, let's see what else. And, and a sense of like, you know, that feeling uplifted, you know, get a little bit of that caffeine dose and you're on your way. Let's see. Okay, mirror, mirroring each other, self-image relationships, reflecting on our wounds and introspection. You know, you guys, the first message I'm getting here with this is... There's a, po I don't know if you're dating, um, but there's a possible connection being made here with someone where there's a feeling of like, a sim there's a lot of similarities or familiarities between you and this person. It's like you're, you've met your soulmate or you, or you're connecting with your other half. It could be somebody new. Um, we'll get into that more into the reading and find out who this person is or if it's a past person you know I try to connect to all that energy there reflecting our wounds so there might be um, a relationship that you connect with someone over coffee um, and you guys kind of have conversation um, meeting and, and having conversation about things that you've both gone through in the past. This could be a friend, it could be a lover, it could be somebody new. Let's take a look and see what else does Virgo. I'm already loving this, you guys. I'm already loving this. Okay, wow, guess what? Sunglasses is back. <laughs> Somebody's looking you up. Okay, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. All right. Well, in the case of the other cards, I just get a sense that not revealing everything is what I'm hearing. Talking about some things, this feels like a, a connection with someone perhaps that you may not know. It could be a friend, but it's the sunglasses kind of makes me feel like there's an energy of like, okay, not revealing everything. Um, too quickly is what I'm hearing. All right, interesting. So some of you could be connecting with somebody new during this time period or reconnecting with someone, a friend or a lover, and seeing each other, uh, recognizing soul-to-soul -soul recognition. Beautiful. All right, let's get into the rest of this reading and see what past energy. All right, Knight of Cups in the past, present the Eight of Swords, the Challenge, the Death card, driving this reading, the Ace of Wands, crowning is the Eight of Wands, what's before you coming up, you have the Ten of Wands, a lot of wands showing up here, position of you, conflict, wow, okay, external to you, Ten of Swords, wow, hopes and fears, seven of swords, and the outcome, the, the six of swords, and the queen of swords, what the heck, okay, so overall energy here is the knight of one, uh, knight of cup, uh, my goodness, the knight of pentacles, so a very slow 
moving, patient type of an energy. Um, not rushing into anything, taking time, taking your time. Okay, Queen of Cups, there could be a connection with a water sign, uh, male or female energy. Um, taking time to open up and reveal feelings or to share deep emotions. Um, you could have a connection with the Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Um, this person shows up very romantic, intuitive, a bit shy, maybe easily wounded, could be a psychic, um, a bit of a daydreamer. This person is very handsome or very pretty, um, very mature as well, loving and warm. Okay, and the fool. So yeah, there's like some, it's like a risk. I feel like the energy is like taking, thinking about opening up and sharing about past relationships or family situations or emotional, um, uh, sharing, uh, an energy of sharing feelings, but it's like, how much should I reveal is what I'm hearing. Let me go slow. Okay, that could be you, could be another person. So the past energy, I do see there might have been a romantic proposal in the past or an offer or some type of um, an invitation either you received or you doled out to another person. All right, let me see. I just want to get a clarifying card, okay? Um, and so that's a Scorpio card. So there could have been a connection with a Scorpio for some of you. Um a very charming type of an energy. Somebody offering their heart or you offering your love cup to another person. Let me get a little clarification on this. Okay. Um, but the Eight of Swords, a very restrictive energy as well. Okay. Um, hmm. So the past energy was like love. It feels like love was on the table, but there was a lot of restrictions or there was sabotage or uh, self-sabotage or someone wanting love, but just could not get them their mental state to like to get their head in the game is what I feel. Okay. In the past, um, or there were some type of other restrictions between you and another person. I feel like it was kind of like a teetering on the fence kind of energy. It was like, I just heard, didn't we almost have it all? Uh, some kind of like, if it, there was just like this inability to cross a threshold is what I feel. And the energy now is that stuck energy is still present in a lot of ways, like in the mind. Okay. Eight of swords, eight of swords. Um, so I, it feels like for you, Virgo, you just have this energy of like, maybe feeling a bit paralyzed due to a situation in the past, um, or feeling like there was restriction put on you. And, and currently, it it's like, in your head, it's kind of like, how can I say this? Uh, maybe you feel isolated. The challenge for you, though, is to get rid of this energy. Okay, and, and it might be difficult for you mentally to accept something in your love life at this time. But it, and it's hard, it's a challenge for you to have a new beginning to let go of something from your past. Okay, but it's a benefit that you do that. Like it's, it, it feels like the message, it's not really your advice, but it feels like you're trying here to let go of something from your past. Um, even if there is a, a physical letting go has already occurred, the energy that remains, it remains is more mental. Okay. Let me just get, yeah, there, karma. Hmm. really hard for you to open yourself up. Okay. And I feel like the first bunch of cards that we had, that was really indicative of like taking your time to release, to let go. This is judgment, making that final decision, um, getting clarity within yourself that it's time to move forward in your life if you haven't already done that. Now, what's driving the reading is the Ace of Wands. So this is like, I want inspiration. I want to feel that passion and that fire within my life again. Have that new beginning. Physically move myself, um, even 
<laughs> feeling that that urge, that joy, that to be passionate about someone in your life. I feel like that's really what you want at this time and that's what's driving you to be here right now in this, you know, at least like in your life. It's not just about love, but it's a love reading. Okay? You want that potential, you want to know what your potentials are, if there's anyone else in your life, or if there's a relationship you're currently in, if there's a potential for it to go far. Um, and I, I just get a sense like um, you're looking for the good news, you know what I mean? You're looking for joy and happiness. Something real, this is a real struggle here for you, you know, the past and the present energy, a, a real struggle. What's crowning you is, wow, the eight of wands, that's Sagittarius energy. So that like your fire, I, I feel like there's going to be progress and that's crowning that's in your crown chakra, your head, you know, your thought process really like exciting. You want excitement, you want to travel, you want freedom, you want that Cupid's arrows, that holiday, maybe a holiday romance. Some of you might even be thinking about having someone in your life to spend the holidays with, right? Um, you're ready to go. You're thinking on your feet. You're, you're wanting to get ahead. I don't feel, Virgo, like you're going to be stuck in any kind of an energy for too long here. Um, you're definitely making progress in your life because your head and your, your feet, <laughs> your heart's struggling and it's affecting your mind. But I see you here, like the energy is telling you, keep moving forward, keep moving forward, okay? Um, now, what's in front of you, what's coming towards you is the end of a struggle, Virgo. So this is beautiful, okay? You're going to get to wherever you need to be, okay? Um, your heart and your head will come into alignment as far as... It just feels like a healing energy, and it always is a healing energy, but it, it feels to me like you're coming to an end of a struggle, and that's going to make itself present. With the Ten of Wands, um, I feel... Sometime between, like... You're really going to feel like a, a whole struggle is going to be over. The week of December 15th through the 21st, or, yeah, the, I think it's the 15th through the 21st, it's done. Something finishes out, okay? No, like that sense of feeling overburdened or the stress or the problems or things like that weight on your shoulders uh, or any obligations or that sense of restriction, you know, it's it's over. Around that time, it's like, it feels like a completion because a 10 is a completion, okay? Okay. Your advice right now, Virgo, don't give up. Don't give up. Keep fighting to get to the 10, all right? Your advice, I don't feel like you should go out and cause any kind of conflict with anyone <laughs> or have arguments, but I do feel like you need to get back in the game and not keep yourself feeling defeated, okay? Um if you, uh, I, d I feel like you have a lot of fight left in you. I feel like you are an, a contender still for what it is that you want in your life. But your advice here is keep your temper, okay? Hold on to your temper. Don't get in any arguments with anyone at this time. I feel like the energy is more so focus on your wishes, hopes, and dreams rather than the conflicts that you feel are going on with family members, lovers, exes, um, friends, anything that's going on in your life, try to stay, because conflict will always arise, whether it's external or internal. Focus on this Nine of Cups, your advice. Focus on your, you know, that that love buffet. <laughs> what it is that you, uh, the positives, what you're desiring in your life. Okay, your wishes, your hopes, your dreams. Now, what is external to you, which generally could be another person, someone is like in a ten of swords, defeated. You're trying not to feel defeated, but someone else feels tremendously defeated. It could be a Gemini. Uh, someone feels like a failure. They're having a collapse, some type of a breakdown. They're having a hard time coping. They're hitting rock bottom. 
Um, could be an enemy. Bit bitter, a little bit bitter. Let's see. Okay, yeah, wow. Bitter about a ten of cups. Okay. Hmm. Give me a second. No. Why would someone be bitter about or feel betrayed? Either betrayed by family, betrayed by um, someone they were in a relationship with. Maybe that was you. Okay. Um, there's also an energy of someone here surrendering to that happily ever after. Let me get a little bit more to see what's going on here with this person. Okay. King of Cups. Okay. Um, there's a King of Cups who wants that happily ever after but feels like they're, it's ruined. Feels like it's ruined or it's done or it's over. Um, okay. I'm going to just pull one more card for that because we're not going to get too deep into something else here with that. Yeah. Wow. The tower, an unexpected ending or change, an upheaval on the external, this person. Um, I don't feel like somebody wanted something to end. Um, it, so when I say King of Cups, like I said, it could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. It could be any sign, but this person's very much deep in their feelings, whichever element or sign that they are. Um, so with that tower energy, this feels like this person feels disgraced um, or ruined uh, or a, 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 a relationship or a marriage. It uh, doesn't have to be with you. It could be something else that they were in. They're, this person feels like they were betrayed. And it just blew up. Everything just fell apart. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Three of Cups. There might have been some extracurricular activities or some betrayal or cheating or dating. Um I don't. I, I just get a sense like whoever this person is that's external to you is like hitting rock bottom here, or has hit rock bottom. Okay, so your hopes and fears, Virgo. You have the Seven of Swords, so I feel like you do have. You hope that someone isn't going to be deceptive with you going forward in your life. Like you really do hope that if you meet anybody else or you connect with anyone else or if you're currently connecting with someone that you're not going to have this extreme like these are extreme cheating lying deception theft scheming dangerous risky behavior someone who's being fake spying uh someone who lacks a conscience or maybe even empathy or someone like I, I, these are like this is not just leaving the cap off the toothpaste stuff this is like deep betrayal kinds of things and i feel like for you going forward in your life like you do have a fear and i guess the older you get that that just kind of becomes ingrained as you get older if you've had your trust broken or things like that have happened you definitely are kind of like on guard and I feel like that might have a lot to do with why you are taking your time to open up you're not rushing into anything I do feel like you're going to connect with someone um some of you you may be wishing for a reconciliation because of the judgment card, but I don't have any other cards here that are showing that's going to happen during that time period. It's possible afterwards, but for now, I feel like your outcome, Virgo, is you're getting real with yourself. You're being very protective of yourself you're definitely communicating with others but you've got your sword up and I kind of feel like you know you just want truth and you're giving transparency but you're being transparent and with the uh, six of swords you're moving on you're moving forward you're calm you're calming you're calm Things are calming down rain after uh, calm after a storm you're overcoming hardship becoming more stable here um 
And I feel like for you, this is a transition all through here that's happening. And you're doing what is best for you at this time, which is amazing. Um, it's absolutely amazing. I might go into an extended reading to look a little bit more about this person over here. Um, if I do, I will leave the link in the description box below, okay? Let's get a little bit more into messages of love for you. What are the messages of love for Virgo during this period of October through November? Okay, play hard. Virgo, find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy someone and yourself enjoying each other. Okay, so some of you might be meeting with somebody new or connecting with someone new and it's, you know, just to focus on the good, the good, focus on the fun, focus on the laughing, goofing off, enjoying each other, playful energy. All right, this relationship can stand the test of time. So you've got stability coming in a relationship. Now I think on, did I, I did a singles reading, didn't I? do a singles reading just a couple of days ago. So if you haven't listened to that and you're looking to see if there's going to be somebody new coming into your life or what that overall energy might be, go back and listen to the singles. Um, I think I posted that on, or I uploaded that on the 16th. So you can go back and refer to that. Wow. this re You're, you're going to be married. <laughs> listen, you guys, I did a reading yesterday um, there's an extended reading. Go check that out because that energy was showing up. Marriage energy and what have you was showing up in that extended reading. Um, and I did that yesterday. So the link should be there or the link is also in my community tab. Um, so I do feel like you're, you're going to be connecting with someone in a relationship of, of, or you are connecting with someone now and this is turning into a marriage situation. <laughs> Not a situation ship, a real sacred union, a relationship that is beautiful. Okay, let me see what your other messages are for you here, Virgo. And then I'm going to do the Chinese signs to see what, who might be showing up. I know I had a card, I just saw it flip. Where did it go? It flipped over. And then it went back. What am I losing my mind? Did it flip and then unflip? Okay. I guess it must have. I don't know. If it shows up again, it shows up again. Okay. So you have, oh, okay. In other, in other scenarios in your life, you're going to get that loan that you applied for. Someone's going to, a loan is going to be offered to you. Okay, you also have, oh, Aries energy here. Head of household, take charge of your divine masculine energy. A father figure guides you. Strive for respect, dignity, and power. An influential male supports you or will be supporting you. Let's see. Okay. Non-committal. So I feel like Virgo right now, you're not committing to anything. Not just yet. You're taking your time. Remember I said in the beginning of the reading, you are not jumping into anything. You are excited. I see you becoming excited, especially if there's a new uh, connection you're making during this time period, but you're not like meeting someone and then tomorrow saying, I commit to you 100%. No, you're taking your time. Okay. Learning a new skill. Okay. Okay. Um, some of you are just learning how to be in a relationship, working on those relationship skills, learning some new things, understanding more about yourself as you go forward. Some of you might also be um, collaborating with people as well, working on your craft, learning new skills with your craft, quality over quantity. There's teamwork here. Very beautiful. Okay. And then you've got the tower, lightning stri strikes, maybe once, maybe twice. This strike has sent a ripple effect into your life. Things may seem to be in chaos right now, or they may have been. It may be for the good. After every storm comes, washing away, calm after a storm, stand firmly on the ground and know 
Virgo, that everything you're going through at this time is all for the best. It may not be what you want, but for some reason, it's something that you needed to go through. Okay. And also, beautiful, the Wheel of Fortune. Luck is on your side. The wheel is turning in your favor, Virgo. You have the Midas touch. Good things are coming now, so be ready. Get yourself ready. Karma is on your side for all the good you've put out. And the Karma card was here, okay? And it will come back to you. It's coming back around, and what a payoff this is going to be for you. Wow, Virgo. Those messages are amazing. You're on a good path. You may not feel like it. May not seem like it. Oh, girl with a snake. Okay. Hmm. So, girl with a snake, empath, and narcissist paradigm being charmed to use enable boundaries. Okay. So, this is significant for someone. This was just trapped here in the deck. Somebody might be a sign of the snake, have a zodiac snake sign. Um, this might be an understanding of some type of a connection, maybe a karmic connection that you were in in the past with someone. Um, toxic, karmic, toxic. Okay, let me see. I don't know if that's a message from spirit saying, hey, that's what that was, or that's what that became. Um, I don't feel like this is something new because you're definitely on a better path here going into November. Okay. Oh, wow. Just when I said that, all these cards are like stuck in here. The sun, Leo energy. Okay. Um, a very positive, successful situation, relationship, something happening here. Okay, year of the dog, year of the horse, year of the pig. This could be you or another person, year of the dog again. All right, year of the dragon, dragon again. <laughs> year of the tiger, which we are still in until February of 2023. Okay, year of the ox. We have a rabbit, and we have a rooster. Okay, so that could be you, could be another person, it could be both of you, it could be none of you, so don't sweat it. Either way, those are just qualifiers. All right, let's see what the love romance angels messages are here for you guys. Romance angels messages for Virgo. Okay, getting to know each other, Virgo, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, a bond deepens. So, Virgo, this really feels to me like you're connecting with somebody new during this time period and getting to know each other. We'll be getting to know each other better. Um, this feels like a, a new beginning, a new start. This could be somebody you're already connecting with. It could be of the water element, like that you're talking to presently, um, or will be meeting up with them. Let's see what else. Okay. Wow, Virgo, freeing yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Wow, Virgo. It looks like you're leaving something and you're you're going into something new, or you you know you're. You know, the, the healing, it's funny because sometimes like when a, when a relationship ends, first, you know, some of you, if you've had that, the physical removal aspect of, of removing each other from that relationship is just one, one part because you can physically remove yourself and not, not be in someone's vicinity, but still have the residual in your heart and your head. I feel like a lot of you have physically removed yourselves from a relationship and the head and the heart kind of follow that and they, they take a little bit longer. And it feels mostly because of that sword energy that the residual that's left over is just kind of fading out now and you're, you're becoming more free mentally, spiritually, emotionally. I feel like a lot of you are already physically free. Um, you may not be, but you're, you're, you're getting yourself in your transitioning. Okay. But you're definitely in the position of like saying to yourself, I know what I want. I, I know what's in front of me. I, I know what direction I need to go. And, and I, I'm still, uh, even though I'm, I'm learning more about another person, I'm open to progress and things moving forward. Wow. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. I feel like there's somebody coming in here where there's a, there's a, 
commitments on the table or engagement. Okay. I love this for you. I absolutely love this for you. Let me get some. Okay. I'm not going to take these because I did not ask, but I will say there's a rose and a black butterfly. Okay. So signs that are here, we have Pisces, Virgo, Scorpio, Sagittarius. Very nice. Okay. Taurus, Sagittarius. Wow, Taurus three times. That's a triple confirmation for some of you. There might be a Taurus connection. Let's see what else. Okay, Virgo, Scorpio, Capricorn, and Cancer. All right. Now let's take a look at numbers. Birth dates, September 7th. We have the 17th, September 3rd, September 12th. Somebody was born in 1971. We also have 1973. We have someone who is 33 years of age. Someone's also 30 years of age. Um, could also be 37. Okay, let's see. Okay, September 27th. Well, that would be Libra, wouldn't it? Oh, August then. It's either Libra or it's August 27th. Um, let's see. Okay, 2011 was significant for someone. We also have 1962. Someone is 40 years of age. Um, let's see. Uh, August 26th. Okay, September. Did I say 11th? I'm picking up September 11th. Um, area code 210. And I'm also picking up, yeah, 2022 right here, significant year, the end of the year. I kind of was feeling even um, before the year came that 2022 was going to be a, like a very special year for, um, I'm also picking up 211, a very special year for those who are looking for a relationship. And we're also picking up the seventh. Okay. 201 again. Or 210. 201 or 210. Let's see. September 4th. Okay. 1992. Hello, 1992. Um, 411. Uh, somebody is a cancer on the cusp of cancer leo okay um september 20 so somebody's on the cusp of virgo libra all right very good very very good okay take that in if it resonates it resonates if if it doesn't leave it it belongs to somebody else let's see get a couple of charms here see what your messages are all right so we have a turtle, okay, and a feather. One more, and I'll try to intuit what the messages are. Okay, so we have a star here. This to me feels like um, a star on a top of a Christmas tree, okay? Um, I feel like that's significant, something about um, a star and a Christmas tree. And the funny thing is, this is this is an eight-pointed star, okay? Um, so I don't know if you're going to start looking for a, a star and a Christmas tree or you see one if you're out. It doesn't matter to me if you celebrate Christmas or not. That's not the point. I'm just seeing an eight-pointed star, and that will be significant for someone during this time period okay also so this wing is like an angel wing or a feather um i feel like if you see a feather or if you've recently seen a feather that's a message that the angels are around you they're taking care of you they're watching over you and you are very blessed and protected and also this turtle so there's some type of connection with a turtle maybe you love turtles 
or you're a turtle collector or you see a turtle somewhere for some of you okay so I'm just gonna leave that there so yeah that's your message tomorrow I will be back here to do your weekend reading I'm also going to go into the extended to see what is going on with this person okay so for some of you this could be someone that you are connecting with or you will be the uh, king of cups or queen of cups energy um, I'm also going to take a look and see like to what depth this energy like what's going on here the tower and all that energy here so if you want to get the extended reading that will be linked underneath the video you can go right over there and purchase that um yeah so that's going to be it for you guys so awesome to catch up with you all i might you know tomorrow i'm, I'm thinking about it i might actually do the live weekend reading where this is previously recorded but it is premiering live i might actually get in there with you guys like get in the trenches we'll see how that goes it, i have some other plans but if i'm able to do it just keep your eye out for that live stream and we can all you know connect together all right you guys so have a fantastic evening day and i will see you all for your weekend reading tomorrow all right take care bye